recording right now. Oh, now we are. Go ahead. All right. Now we're recording. It's the shoehorns back for week four or five. And <laughs> it was my choice this week. Eric, Travis, Ben, the shitty beetle swan. And the movie of the week is Manos. 2019 film made in Colombia. I hope you like the subtitles. Was it made in Colombia? Yeah, yes. it was. Okay. Colombian and, <clears throat> why don't you dangerous. remind everybody uh, dangerous. how I you came across you. this uh, well, thank you monumental for film? Me, well, <laughs> I think you'd give a shit, but uh, <laughs> I'll a little backstory here. Um, it was the greatest flight of my life. <laughs> what? Coming back from a trip to England, and it was Liverpool. Because, yeah, from Liverpool. So oh, six and a half hour high. flight, you know, dreading that kind of a long flight, but. Best flight of my life because as it was like getting like close to takeoff, there was only about twenty percent people on oh, the plane. That's money. And everyone was kind of looking around, being like, "Is something going on?" And then <laughs> the flight attendant got on and she was like, made an announcement, was like, "Hey, everyone, we're getting ready for takeoff. Just so you know, like we are, fu- we just closed the door. Like we only are at like twenty percent capacity." Feel free to do whatever, like, go or <laughs> That's awesome. it's like on one of those planes where I was in, like, you have three on one side, and then you have, like, that middle where there's, oh, like, the two. six yeah, yeah, that's, well, uh, that's a big three three flying on, overseas. Right they got those big jets. Bro. Yeah, exactly. So, like, people were, like, as soon as they announced that, everyone was, like, it was, like, seriously, it reminded me of Seinfeld, like, when Jerry <laughs> passed, and they are like, yeah. More champagne, more everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that kind of a fucking tone and mood for like everyone, because like the flight attendants were the most happy because they were like, "Oh yeah, that's that noise. Well, they don't have to serve like you had you get like a full meal, like a drink, like all that kind of shit. So like everyone's just like, yeah, like everyone just like <laughs> let out this big shit. and like yeah, like the flight attendants would come around like coffee because they had all this extra food, extra wine. Like you want extra, want extra drink? Here you go. Yeah, I don't care. Oh my God, that's like people the were dream, like hanging out in the middle, six seaters, like just oh like God. kids were running around, like it, it was. <laughs> it was very nice to me. So I think I might have had. I don't know. I want to hear what you guys think, but I might have. I might have been on a high when I watched. <laughs> you might. You might have. Uh, I don't remember if I watched this one first or if I watched uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood because those oh were the two God. I watched. But I remember <laughs> skimming through like <laughs> movies. <God>. Like, <laughs> and I don't know if you've seen like the cover poster, but it's it's like on the top of the mountain. And it was like it's almost like a galaxy background kind of. I was like, is this a Manos? I was like, is this like a National Geographic like documentary? Because I was like, that's something I'd like. But then I saw it was like a real movie. And then, I, I don't know. I was just like, whatever. I'll give it a shot. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was very interesting. I'm very excited to hear what you guys thought. I've been trying to get someone to watch it for three years now. But I also understand it's not widely accessible. And uh, It's actually very widely accessible now. Now, yeah. Now, but, yeah, now, yeah. Uh, <laughs> my, I guess my question, my main question before we get started is, did you rewatch it? I, yes, I rewatched it, and I have some. Okay, okay. just thoughts. wanted to make sure you were fresh. Yeah, just yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, why? Why don't you tell us uh, what was your response, or do you want me? Well, do you want me to get this, into it? Let me just tell you, I started this off. I took a humongous keef <laughs> rip. I didn't mean to. I dropped more keef than I really intended, and I was real jacked up about that. So yeah. I went into it with high hopes, based on the amount of keef that I put in my bong rip. <laughs> Can I stop okay. you really quick? Yeah. And we're just really quick. What time? I, I'm interested in like what time of day you watched it. Like, were the lights out? Was it nighttime? Was mm-hmm. it early day? Oh fuck! My freezer's open. Because I think um, <laughs> like, I think sometimes like it matters. Like, I was a little worried when Travis was trying uh-huh. to watch the movie this evening. Now don't get yeah, me wrong. Well, sure. I, I have okay. Okay. Room. I was watching it in pitch black on a big right. screen. With That's good. Well, yeah, Travis has the theater, so he's, he gets the full experience every time. I, did, I do have to, like, move the mouse on my work computer to pretend good. like I'm working every five minutes. But... Good, 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 uh, as you should. Yeah. All right, back to that. I'm sorry. Now, Eric. Uh, I watched it during the day. I, I did, like, close the blinds so that I had no glare or anything, but, like, it right, wasn't, I, like, I, pitch I, black. 
I pretty much watch all movies, try to have a little a little ambiance going. You know what I mean? I'm not just going to. Yeah, important. so. It was filmmaking these days. These everything's shot in really dark light. So I'm gonna you, say that this did have some well shot. It was. It was. There was some cool ass looking shit. There. There was one scene where I don't know their camp. What was that giant structure like? In the, I, I don't. It was cool. It was, cool, though, it was just a stone. Like it's, a stone. Yeah, it was like a, a mountain, cave. like a plateau. No, because it had stairs underneath, and st- it was like some kind Wild. of structure. Huh. Yeah, I it's think like it was some... carved from the land, like man made. But it's, right. it's a national park. Like, it's like, Do you remember a shot where I think the messenger guy was on a horse, but he was like basically he was like black, but he was in up in the clouds, basically. Yeah, that shot was crazy. There were some cool shots. Like, to be honest, it was some of the aerial shots of like the river. My favorite shot was the uh, I, I'm not. Well, no, I'm not going to say it. I'll wait till we keep going. But uh, yeah, no, when they kept showing over into the clouds over the mountain, like how high up they were, that was pretty wild to like mm-hmm. fathom being there. It was like they're in a different world, kind of. No, I watched it at like night. I watched it at like six to eight ish, probably, you know, so. OK, which actually those mountain scenes were filmed um, near Bogota in Chingaza National Park, which is. Uh, thirteen thousand feet yeah. altitude. That's yeah, they're, they're the they, they they had to like have horses. They had to have like oxygen and shit. Yeah, probably. they had that. That mules carry their food and gear up the mountain for them to use. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Now, that, that, um, dedication to your uh, your location. Yeah. Now it was pretty funny to me that the the only recognizable characters were. An annoying white bitch, and then the giant nosed Jew guy from fucking Staten Island and Ender's Game. Do, have you ever seen him? You never seen him in that that guy, the leader. Uh, what was his name? I got Lobo? it. Lobo. Bigfoot. No, Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Yeah. Oh, is Bigfoot? Was he the bad guy who Ender kills in Ender's Game? Yes, that giant oh, nose of his. Yeah. I, he's never. He's grown up, but the nose remains. Yeah, it really did. Just a little I've tip. never seen Ender's Game, but it's the nice. the doc, Doctora did uh, did seem familiar. Where is Doctora she from? Can die. I hate her so much. Where's she two from? The people that you mentioned were the only people who had ever acted before, so that's interesting that you. Oh, Wait, what did you say? What did you say? You... Uh, all the two people I mentioned, Doctora and the guy who was in Ender's Game, apparently huh. Bigfoot. They're they're the only people who had ever acted before. I Everyone else see that. Kind of. I wish I, it's I, wish I was told that. Yeah, huh? makes, makes, Why makes would sense. you not? I if I made this movie, I would literally put in the opening credits. The only two people, or it, as you're showing the character, has never acted. Has never acted. Yeah, yeah but you, you know, you, like if if you're if you're confident enough in your right, choice true. of actors, you don't well, feel no, the need to the say that. No, because the way they were using them, they didn't really need to act that that yeah. crazily. You it know was very mean? known. <clears throat> I will say that the way the the way it was filmed, and the like guttural nature of the quote unquote actors i guess it was they're actors eh. but um that was definitely and that felt authentic all it of that. wasn't it wasn't guttural enough if you're going for what that really was going to be like there would have been some real graph way more graphic shit i feel like than what was they kind of depicted which well, i was I happy think about. they were right well i just don't think they were going to go over that edge well i'm think- just saying I think authentic. my main problem with the movie is it's Lord of the Flies, but I don't necessarily think it's as good a story as Lord of the Flies. I thought the story was lacking. I I really uh, I never I don't I got get the Lord the of the story. Flies reference, but I mean, at certain points I felt like I was lost, not even understanding what was happening. What? I mean, it's pretty s- simple. What's Dr. I mean, Dr. yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, the, the whole Doctora thing, they, I mean, they sort of say at the end on the TV, like, she's an engineer, but that none of that really made sense, I guess. Yeah, well, I mean, technically, you can have a doc, you can be a doctor and be an engineer. Well, no, I just mean, like, why did they need her? Well, they were... They never resolved but, anything. So, but I, yeah, I always try to yeah. take a couple notes while I'm Treated watching. Hard. I assumed while I was watching that I mean, basically that was a film Dryer about man. a gorilla outfit that had kidnapped someone for ransom. That was notes? the way I looked at it. Let's see. Well, well it was a gorilla outfit, but I, I, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. We never really 
know why they kidnapped her. Hey, dude, it they, was, I was so maybe confused. We don't need it. Maybe you're supposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, I think I, that's yeah. the point is like yeah. they're pointing out that like, this is what's happening in Colombia. Like, <laughs> white people get taken, the children get raised as fucking gorillas to do this kind of shit. And they, they don't get a chance to, to live real lives as kids. Like, you saw how, uh, un- I would say uncomfortable Rambo was when he got with that family for one night. Like, you could tell he did course, not feel com- not used Like, to he that. was relieved, but he was yeah. also uncomfortable. Yeah, he I don't know if that was because like, he, like I don't know if that was be- right, I don't know if that was because he was, un- like, d- knew that he potentially the rest of them would find him and you know whatever or it was just because he's so used to being out in the wild by himself i think yeah i think that's what it is is like because when they when the others come and kill the parents like i think it's kind of a metaphor to that like that's probably what happened to rambo and he probably never had a real childhood so he didn't know how to fit into like a family structure okay guys on three on three who was the best character one two three the midget the messy guys (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I was messenger. gonna say the messenger was probably the coolest character, but on on another, I guess that brings me to my other note of like what annoyed me was uh, some of the writing felt really easy to pick up on as it was going. It was very obvious. Why would you let Bigfoot sit on the boat with his gun? It was that knowing that thing. he's probably stupid. going to be taken Savages. somewhere to be extremely punished if not killed right that, that and made no sense you turn your back turn your back on him to piss that was obviously a, well they prefaced we, we, it, it they yeah we prefaced it up. with what he said we've been seeing bigfoot you know go down this spiral but yeah, that guy but didn't see i'm just see saying it. that it was obvious there and then um what was he the other part back at him too when like the, when the doctora the kills swede with the chain that was so fucking was obviously awful. coming well, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I fucking hated this movie for the most part. It was I did not so, enjoy it. It was it so like non-rewarding. Exercise. There was zero rewarding characters. There was zero characters I cared about other than the midget who then was shot in cold blood and dumped <laughs> into the river. He was so weird looking and ripped. He was so ripped. Dude, when they're doing that, that, that guy, that was guy was like actually jogging shit. You know, this sort of stuff is loosely based on the FARC in Colombia. The best, the best oh, scene. That guy, that guy was in the FARC. That best scene that. was when they all snitched on each other more and more and more and I more and that. more. That was hilarious. It's just like they're kids. It proved dude. that they weren't really a family. They're but... fucking kids. That's yeah, what it he, proved. He was playing with their minds. He was employing exactly. tactics on them to get them to turn on each other to exactly. talk the truth. Somebody what snitches is, on you, is, you go to the next one who got snitched on. Okay, now what are you well, going to do to like, work? I don't hear from Travis. Basically, is going down the line like what's it's going to get worse as I keep going. Like, exactly, he's got something worse. He knew who he knew who to first go to to be like, tell me the truth. And then once that the can got out there, then everyone's snitching. When the dudes started making out, I was so mad at you, Eric. Like, what the fuck, Eric? These dudes I, are I making out sure already. That was like that ten was minutes in. But I was like, I think that's what's happening. Is that what's <laughs> happening? Yeah, God but you know, it. yeah, but you know, Rambo is a girl, right? See, I didn't oh. know that until I looked. Oh. That makes so much sense. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. But I think you're not really supposed no. to that. No. Yeah, no. Rambo is a girl. I didn't yeah. know. That. But was the Look character up. Rambo played a girl? It's apparently. It's, the act- it's it's an actress. It is a good. girl. And they it's call a woman. Her, and it's supposed to be like not. It's supposed when to be. When they were first training. No, no. What? When they were first like it, training, wasn't, like wasn't Lady and Rambo supposed to potentially become partners? Yeah, that's why Wolf they didn't. Gone? That's why they didn't, because he was gay. But no, the, or he's a saying, woman. Well, he's Jeez. saying yeah. or a woman. Well, I I read something that in the script. It was, oh, I, I think, a, in, a boy originally, <laughs> but then they they sort of wanted to, I don't know, leave it ambiguous. Well, they already had, didn't they have already girls making out? And then there was a weird See, scene dude, with. I just want. Yeah, was, yeah. Uh, was it, it was Swede all weird and, and, and the doctor Swede when they were Swede almost else. making out about to fuck in the t- tunnel? Tunnel. And then she laughed like a crazy person. Yeah, that that was. Oh, that, I didn't. <clears throat> that was weird. What are they, squirrels or something? I'd like to go to Travis and get a little history on Colombia and what you can tell us about it. 
Did you walk nah. with your wife, Travis? Did no, like and her? actually, she was pissed at me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Fuck that. Oh. Has she wanted to? Has she wanted to watch that, or is was she just pissed because it was in all well, Spanish? No, I, t- I told her it was, we were, you know, doing a Colombian movie this week, and I don't really remember saying like, "Oh, I want to watch that." So I watched it and came up and told her, and she was pretty pissed you at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not one you want to sit through again that's either. Great. Yeah. It, it feel free, feel free to let her watch it again. Yeah, she wouldn't like the movie anyway. But no, I like. Yeah, I think, fuck it. <laughs> for me, the point of the podcast remains intact. I'm yeah, glad I yeah. saw this movie. Yeah. Oh, I, I you didn't. Are? I'm I, not. Yeah, yeah. No, I enjoyed a lot about it. I enjoyed oh, the no, cinematography, no, no, no. and uh, you know, I thought the the whole jungles and rivers and right. No, and no, no. Mountains. I thought I thought the second they left their camp, I was like, okay, this is getting good now. And then they started doing dumb shit. But I love when like Doctora like got into the oh, water tried also, to escape mm-hmm. some of that shit was cool it, that was i enjoyed that one but i the whole time she was escaping i was like this is she's ne- how are you yeah. gonna survive in the fucking jungle you dumb yeah. white bitch? you skinny and, dumb bitch um you bigfoot, dumb. bigfoot bitch. i like bigfoot Why, you look like you have a mean a, mustache right now i know i'm trying to twirl it captain hook right raleigh fingers thank you eric <laughs> i thought bigfoot was a good like villain character um, uh, I mean, uh, he was, I, he's four foot he, three. He, he, I know, but he kind tiny of tiny dick. Did you see that dick? Tiny no. dick. I mean, come on. <laughs> that whole solid. thing kind of <laughs> I can't reminded me of <laughs> Man, come God. On. You would have put like, that kid to shame. Okay, dog is back. I was so like when they. I thought they buried dog with the cow. I was like, what the fuck? Like it was bound. I didn't even oh, no. know it, it was. That was that, like a solitary for yeah. being a dumb fuck. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. I hated that the fucking cow had to be shot like yeah, that. Like that was, that was so. Fucking did you see that coming? Uh, no, no, I didn't really see it not coming. That quick, even they were being not so dumb. Immediately, like fuck, was that cow there even fucking one day before they killed it? Like they're dumb as fuck. Wow. Well, they're, yeah, they're 15 year olds with guns. I mean, what, that do you think what I'm saying, like, what do you expect? But like, did I, did I, maybe I looked away. Like, I didn't even know Wolf committed suicide. They're like, yeah, he committed suicide. I was like, wait, okay. it was no, it was just yeah, it was one. Well, they just yeah. you heard the gunshot. You heard gunshot. Okay, oh, you did? they I showed him just... by himself. Oh, I missed. That. I was like, so they were like making up with this. I was like, well, that's a weird story to make up. Okay. And, like, everyone, someone reacted. I think. I think that he potentially was on the edge already because Lady had to say something to the messenger to get him to ask about them being a part partners. I think he was like reluctant about that, and I think it was because he didn't want to be there and hated everything. Yeah, he's probably over it, dude. I mean, well, he was—he kind of—he was like definitely a, the oldest. Yeah, definitely. exactly. I was gonna say that he's probably well, been. I mean, in. look at what they're they're doing really i mean doctor, they're, they're doctor, poor, poor that they never had any business with they probably don't I, I, I i i will say that i didn't think there was actually a war or anything like when they actually had the the fight scene where they had like the um yeah the infrared shots yeah those were cool you i thought I, you, were, you thought it was going to be like village um not in that sense but oh, just they like were just they were just out in a remote area where you know there was no never gonna be any threat when they went when they went stealth mode that like was that. cool yeah, that was that cool part. and they were like jacking but, people's motorcycles was, and the guy was like was, hitting up against the side and he was like camouflaging the dirt and you could see his face and then he stepped yep. out all the dirt yep. when he has the gun that was my that favorite was, shot i think yeah yeah no my face see my problem is, is that I love aliens so much that the, they like showed a over the cloud shot and it showed like a flare. It was like, I was like, oh, fuck, aliens are in this. I was like, oh, it's just a flare. But that shot itself, I was like, that's fucking cool as shit. And obviously what encapsulated the movie for me, even though I did not really like it, was at the end they pan out and show the jungle and just show you literally it's a free for all, dude. It's a fucking it's the Wild West. It's endless jungle. You can do whatever the fuck you want to a certain extent. Like, how did the kids know what shrooms were? They, I don't think they did. They were just hungry. Oh, they did. 
No, no they do. Look what yeah, they, they knew. Look what they, the, I they mean, they definitely what, knew. They probably yeah. have had them. No, yeah, they knew. Yeah. yeah. Right, but it was Could more like true. mush. But they could have been mushrooms. They they're fucking hungry. Like well, no, no, they, they, I, they you knew could tell. they were. They, they knew they were sent. Well, the group that room scene. That room scene knew. was not was pretty accurate. Remember when they were about yep. to punch oh, each other that, and they went. That was a cool <laughs> scene. That was a cool that, scene in the sense that they portrayed that. And well, then they started getting attacked, and he was fucking tripping. That was well, that, that was, definitely brought me back they, to like Desi's house, dude. I'm I telling that you, that was. I thought that that happened like directly after the they were done with shrooms. No, oh, he was still tripping, seemingly. Uh, oh yeah, I don't know. That's what it seemed like. Was. Yeah. Bigfoot, dude, he, dude. I mean, I can't take that guy seriously, man. I can't. I'll never take him seriously as like a leader, a bad guy. He's a fucking We're, little It's tough to relate to that film being a white, a privileged white man, you know? I hated Doctora, and I don't understand why she, she was, they like fed her, so clearly they wanted her, but where were they taking her? Like, no, I'm saying she was, they were like a <laughs> Colombian drug she, lord. Yeah, like they well, were part of the cartel's guerrilla well, yeah, force. Was and that's it, what they do, they steal people. Oh, true, true, true. Trying to get some ransom. Brittany Griner. <laughs> And you roll. I what well, thinking about that while I was watching it though, I was like, I don't want to ever watch a movie from this perspective, really. To be honest, I was uh when the when that it's an interesting the, perspective to show the, to show, but yeah, but yeah, the, when the messenger came back when they were like in the jungle and he woke up uh, the chick. Yeah, I did go back to see if I missed her tits because I was like, <laughs> and then I was like, oh shit, is she like a child? Is this even yeah. cool for me Dude. to go back? Well, I'm Chill. just telling you, I'm being, I'm being up front, and then I kind of was like, oh, Chill. but um, I thought that was like, I thought yeah. he was being like, like a pedophile, like, but that was just their signal. Like, I was like, that oh, is yeah. fucking weird. He was just like, that thing. Sta- that was scary. Let's go! Come on, you have to run. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, I felt man. bad for uh... Smurf. Yeah, I really, I really felt bad that uh, who caught who caught uh, Rambo trying to free Smurf? Was that sweet or Lady? That was Lady. It was Lady? It was Lady? Yeah, that she was loves him. Up. She's his gets his gay her gay or her woman. Lo- they were like buddies. Uh, they definitely. I guess the only other thing I'd applaud them on is they did a pretty good job showing the kids descending into like madness and animalistic instincts taking yeah. over on them. Kind well, of. I think it. I think it was capped off by the last chase into the river. They literally. Uh, they didn't even depict. I thought they all died, and that's how stupid and, and crazy. And then they. I think showed they all him. did die except Rambo. I know, and I thought yeah, Rambo they was. Just, died. And I'm just like. I thought Rambo was dead. Same. When they showed Rambo. I mean, I, I was like, okay, well, you guys are lifting a dead body up. So it's crazy. Like, and part of me hated this movie. Like, I really didn't enjoy it. But there were some aspects of the movie that kind of stick with you. Like, that it was this, I this savage it, of a life that you jump into a yeah, fucking it, white water rapid. What did you like it about just, it, Eric? I, I just, it, and uh, it's interesting to hear this because on the rewatch for me, I was definitely like watching it more like critically. And I was like, oh shit. I was a little worried because, like, the first half of the movie is definitely slow, I thought. Like, before oh, yeah. they bother me. Yep. Before they leave it on top. But it didn't bother me, though. I, I'm used to that. Yeah, but it's kind of like... But it, I, nothing was happening. Yeah, I, but I think they kind of want you... To, I think it was a little too long, but they want you to, like, develop the characters and... Well, I thought that the slow, uh, the slow stuff where nothing was happen- happening was trying to make you, as the viewer think that um those kids were like a tight-knit group of like a, a family almost dude and i think wife... that it was made clear at the end that uh they did not care about each other at all they were it was simple survival yeah fuck yeah that's uh, that, i mean that's the whole point of lord of the flies basically and i think that yeah. this is basically just a colombian <clears throat> kidnapping version of Lord of the Flies. Well, did you see the look. severed pig head? Yep. Yes. That's. I mean, that's from Lord of the Flies. They literally took that and said, I didn't, "This is Lord I of the didn't, Flies." <laughs> I didn't think there was any reason this film should have won awards 
and I noticed it won a lot Seto. of awards. Seto awards. Seto. Seto? Seto? Um, no, it won like she seven said, or eight. Are they, she said, are they ninjas? Like, what are <laughs> they? I was like, I fucking wish they were ninjas. No, they're some dumb militia for no fucking purpose. You know, the world is filled with dumb, pointless militias like this of people that are wasting their lives. It's like, they were pretty well, much child it's soldiers. In countries, it's in countries where they don't... Right, Africa, any... South America, Russia. And fuck, I don't want to say that, like, it's better here because it's not, you know? It's just different. You're being enslaved don't have a, in a different way. They don't have way. a social structure that's the same as here where... What do you mean it's not go better here? It's definitely better here. Yeah, we don't, third I don't have world a, country. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... Don't get, uh, man, don't get, up, don't get me started. Oh, God. Well, that doesn't mean it's perfect here, but it's Ah! definitely better than other places. Yeah, look at us right now. The kids just don't go to school. Like, it's not the same. School's pointless. They teach you nothing of worth. I don't remember. No, but you're not. You're not being brought up in a militia at the same time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I would rather not be. Thank you. Yeah. Word up. Yeah, I mean. I wish there was more redeeming qualities to this movie. There really weren't. I mean, maybe Has Rambo... this director done anything else since? Not sure. But, I mean, I would say my favorite parts of the movie the first time watching it were kind of like what you guys... I just like the cinematography, like, yeah. where you were. I, I felt like I if, they, if they tried, if they really tried like to do anything in this film, yeah, right, it was, it was the cinematography, but I also felt at times that they were forcing it a little. Did you enjoy 10 almost 10 minutes probably of of underwater film <laughs> what, am, like, what do you mean? i don't remember minutes? that it was they had multiple scenes where the it was just the camera underwater and you watching like white that water. was probably like a minute tops no that was way more than a minute i mean 10 is an exaggeration but i mean i don't I don't know what, like, why do they need to show the butchering of a cow? Like, I don't yeah, know. There's I mean, so many choices that people it's make. My favorite movie of all time. It's definitely not like I didn't recommend it because I was like, these guys have to see well, this. Yeah, yeah. Or, you made it seem like you really needed to okay, talk. Okay, but that's to what it. Well, it. it's more so that I was like, I know no one's ever seen this because it's very, it's more of like a rare kind of thing. It's but I thought film. it was very unique. It had a lasting impression on me for reasons. I think right. reasons the. <laughs> The landscape, like we've talked about, I really like the score. I really yeah. the messenger, like the midget. I thought he was just I, that, was, that was a cool character, just because you don't character. see people like that all the time. I really liked, and I really liked like the beginning. Kind of weird, but like the second half of the movie, once they moved to the jungle, I thought it's I think so really dark really in the second half. Yeah, and I like that. I was like, okay, like now I this did. movie is like we're our own faction now. Kind of like shit's picking up. Like I, I didn't think it was like that great on the rewatch. I was to like, be honest, no problems here, but there's I no way they that. that training they were doing that was oh they could not have been doing that. That training, you know how hard that was. They weren't doing shit ever, and then this guy comes back and they got all this built up like amazing strength, like treaded Wolf water. Got fat while he was gone, dude. But it's one of those movies where you just. <laughs> that kind of, guy. I don't know. I don't. I wasn't thinking. I don't think the first time I watched it, I was thinking about like the nuances. I was just right. kind of. How many drugs had you taken before you got on your flight? Huh? I said, how many drugs had you taken before you got on your flight? Uh-huh. Where you watched this? Movie? How many pots did you smoke? I never do Eric? them. I don't do huh. them. I was definitely drunk. That's when I bad. It the first time. Eric, I I'm gonna that. go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. I also I'm, had I'm, an experience on a flight where I watched. Well, you know what? Again, I would probably, if you ask me now, I'd say it's a seven out of ten. It's not the best movie of all time, but I think it's the... No, I I, I liked it, too. That's generous. I I, I, I give it a five, five. But I I enjoy it. Four and a half. Putting in, like, if you guys... It seems like you guys really like the cinematography, which I think is amazing, in my opinion. I think it's awesome. It's not just good. Well, I I wanted the movie to end, so... That's how I know I didn't like it. I guess I I was glad it wasn't super long. I was definitely happy about that. Oh, Okay. That's your opinion. You Sometimes ten. movies feel longer than they should. Uh, it's not, it's only an hour cool. and a half, right? What's hour forty-five. The, what is the so the the, the scene where they show the two rivers connecting that are different types of water? Yes. The one on the left was brackish, obviously. What is yep. the other type? It was clear. It was natural, like spring water. It's, it's that's that fresh. The same. That's it has a name. I think I didn't know if anybody I, else. I mean, usually huh? it's one fresh is salt water? and one is fresh water, isn't that? Fresh usually salt and is? brackish? Is that? 
But brackish means brackish is salt and fresh together. Brown water just means there's sediment in the river, like it's dirty. So what I took when I was watching this, I thought it was a metaphor for like the clear river was like the youth and innocence, and then when it converged with the dirty water, it was like this is the end of the road. Like damn, you're That's done. Sick. Now. You're reading That's into funny, it. That's funny, Eric. That's, hot. That's Thanks, really man. nice, funny. Eric. That's really nice. That's poetic. Yeah, she, oh, real deep. He's real deep. The sheep. What did you think? I like that. When they're on the radio being like, hey, we have someone, tell us what to do. Like, what do you think was, what do you think happened to Rambo? <laughs> he got dumped out the helicopter. Yeah. Probably, well, I right? guess, I guess the one thing you have to think about the most uh, as you walk away from that movie is the people in the helicopter. <clears throat> Are they, are they from the American? same organization that he was part of? I don't think or so. Or are they from the opposing organization? I think the opposing. No, no they were government. Yeah. I thought the, and they, were they Hispanic. If you, if you, yeah, they were Colombian. Surmise that it's that, that point, it was that all they're from just, the opposition. I had been in the jungle. He's for probably so long. afraid either way. He's going to jail, or, probably. Or she. I'm sorry, Eric. Doctora. Uh, I didn't know that until I read it. Doctora, did they show Doctora? No, well, they say someone spotted her. Yeah. So you would assume that she's been found. My take, yeah, that was my take. They find Doctora, and then they're like, "We have this, like, pretty much non. We don't so even know." So if it's the- from the opposition, you you'd think that he know he he or she, whatever they want matter. that character to be, <laughs> Rambo, is afraid that they're going to get questioned, tortured for for questioning. Is probably what I think. Either that, if they or- find out. If they find out who he, who he, or what they are, <laughs> right? Uh, if they, if he remains unidentified, then you know I would think the hope is that oh, you guys ends are, up in like adoption or something. Well, no, I was reading about this in a little tidbit. That land that they were like supposedly in, that was only inhabited by the FARC. You know, this FARC militant guerrilla group. The city. No, the the jungle area. Oh, uh, and the mountains. The so this, so this Do is we what, know the, what fa- the city at the end was. That was Medi- that was Medellin. Jesus. Yeah, that was Jesus. Medellin. But, so that uh, was definitely what happened. Was that they're part of like a guerrilla drug cartel, like uh, force, the and they uh, not, they yeah. kidnapped <laughs> the dot. They kidnapped. The engineer but it was or whatever for ransom. That's no, definitely not, what it was. Maybe That's for ransom, but they, but they also took a lot. They mainly <laughs> took, I think, political prisoners. But yeah, that that group that group was thing, based, sort of. was based on the FARC. The the messenger guy, he was See, in the FARC in real life. Have you? Is that something that you and your wife had like talked about before? Just oh yeah, I know all about the country. FARC. Okay. We oh, don't yeah. know about that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've heard of it. But of it's actually, it's pretty MD crazy. I've heard of it. But, you know, there were these gorillas who lived in the mountains, and it went on oh. for like 50, 60, 70 years. And they would go into the mountains, they would come down, they would take hostages, and they would do blow up buildings and stuff. And But finally, there was a, I guess, a ceasefire. <sighs> finally, the FARC ended, I think, like a year or two ago. Let or me maybe it was twenty nine. Let me make I one suggestion. Do you remember the scene where Doctora is going stir crazy and makes dance revolution in the room? Was she humping? <laughs> yeah. Was she that like, was insane? I thought she was fucking. Yeah, like, she went out of six. She was definitely what? like going nuts. Like you yeah, have a suggestion? You have a suggestion? You, have a suggestion? What? you said I want to make a suggestion. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I don't think that I say that. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. No, my suggestion is she should have killed herself because I fucking hated her. Yeah. Stupid dumb white bitch. Fuck off. And then she murdered that beautiful young Hispanic girl. How dare you? Yeah, this woman kind of a chub. Was, I like that scene. <laughs> I hated that scene. It would knew like why are you letting this woman bathe with a chain on? Why does that even that's work? What I'm is, saying like they oh. they fucking airmailed that one too. Like, oh to you're chug. not gonna pay attention. Why wouldn't she sneak up with her <laughs> chain behind you? And this has happened in so many fucking movies. Like choke out scene, Ben. You know. Like you like it, baby. Asphyxiation <laughs> with a little masturbation. 
Thought she could trust but my. I guess my question <laughs> was: Was Swede the one in the tunnel with her? Or was it Lady? It was ah. Swede. So, was Swede. so ah. that kind of goes back to their conversation that? where she asks Swede if she's ever killed anyone before. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And yeah, I think Swede kind of gave her the uh, impression that she had not. Right. Um, so I'll kill yeah. you. It's off target. But then, but then she ends up killing her. So okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I need to see the general telling Swede to take. Hey, go take this dumb bitch down to take a swim, but make sure her chain's attached. What the fuck kind of shit is that? No one swims no, with a chain Swede attached was to their constantly neck. Constantly doing dumb shit. Let, let me get bathed. Watch. You're gonna bathe yeah. your prisoner with a chain around your neck. And she over the fact it. that they're kids. It was as if they were raping her when they put the chain around her neck. And don't get me wrong, no human being would want a you chain, want a around, chain her. around your no, neck. No, no, trust she me, I don't. Her. But she oh, was like, yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. She was ah, very against that. Mentally very against destroyed. That. I know, I know. Trust me, I went through all the things, but I still hated it. So. I do not want to change. Listen, no, me like neither. I said, I'm saying I have... thought about that, but I still hated her performance in that scenario. I thought it was Dang. It must have been a really weak award year for uh, the festival. How dare you this say this was well, winning? Well, are they what foreign award? film awards? They the foreign yeah. films don't usually have as steep a competition. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. giving but out whatever. Most they... of them were most of them were Hispanic film festivals. They were winning awards at, but God, yeah, I think okay. it was a I think Damn it got it, something at Cannes or another American film festival. Well, well yeah, but were they winning the foreign film award? Can't wait to call my dad and tell him he's a I don't fucking know. I idiot. I don't care enough. I didn't care enough to <laughs> really yeah. look into it enough. Well, he he, definitely... he goes by Metacritic, and Metacritic gave it a seventy-eight. And God wow. damn it, yeah, that's, that's not a what... high ball. Oh yeah, Eric. Eric, can you hit I... this chip shot, Eric? Have you seen Monos? <laughs> wait, so is he a fan? I I don't know if he even has opinions or if he just watches them because the computer says to. I don't know. I, it got a 78 is what he'll say. After did, he's seen it? What did you think, though? Yeah. Yeah, robot. I thought yeah. it was about a 78. It was film. 78-ish. I remember my dad used to do that shit like, with the newspaper. Like, like old a list. Days. A legitimate like, list. Like, like before internet, when they'd have like the newspaper three out of four, Roger Ebert, yeah. whatever, he'd be like, "All right, well, we can see this then." And like, a re- this the the Guardian. Well, that's the whole point of the podcast. Is Peter Bradshaw does. Peter Bradshaw said well, it was an arrestingly bizarre experience. I, I don't know if anyone ever reviewed this one nationally, yeah, but yeah. I would have I would have <laughs> agreed that if they said not to watch it, I would have agreed with them. To be I don't honest, know, that's fair. I'm not going to argue against you, but I don't think it was like I think it was worth watching. Like, yeah. But again, that's your opinion. <laughs> I mean, I think I mean, now a 45 some, back. There's there's Better some times there's Definitely some films great. like Nope. I could say Nope. Definitely a movie I wouldn't normally have watched that I watched and and enjoyed. This I was wrote, a movie I would have never watched. I wrote. And, Wish yeah. I had never watched. Was it that bad to you? I did not really enjoy much of it. No. That's fair. But does it I give say, you an appreciation for movies you might enjoy more? Sometimes you gotta see me, these. It just movies. makes me hate Eric. I'm glad I watched the Colombian movie. I'm so fucking cultured. Yeah. Yeah, hey, fuck you guys. You guys are staring <laughs> Columbia through the mud. Hello, I, yeah. I was watching it, I kept trying to like pick up on words. Like, oh, I, I remember what that word means. Fuck yeah, you do, Ben. You know words, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's more than that. Oh, it's more than just dog, my man. Yeah. yeah. He was in Yo, a Taco Bell. They said that a few times. He was in boom, Espanol boom. Cuatro. Oh, yeah, I still have I to watch it. <laughs> Favorite titles. It's hard to understand, and I know Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, how was your translation game, Travis? It was hard. It was. Yeah. They were speaking. They I mean, you're not. You're not exactly fluent, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, the problem is, is like I can understand your, my your wife one hundred. I'm basically fluent to my wife's very specific dialect. Like if. If I go out into the wild talking with other people with other accents and stuff, I struggle. I'm going to be honest with you. 
I think that this was a a a, a momentary thing for Eric. He was on a flight. <laughs> I also saw a movie starring Kate Blanchett and Idris Elba called The Mountain Between Us at a Red Roof Inn, and I had the time of my life. I'm not gonna <laughs> I swear to God. That movie was a nine out of ten. And if I went back, I'm not sure if it was a nine out of ten. All right, well now yeah. we got next week's <laughs> I had to get that off a my mountain between us. Otherwise New York fucking uh, A Mountain Between Us is that a film? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they like crash a plane and they're like, We what? We're the only ones left well, and I'm oh, black. the Blanchett is You're that black the, okay, and I'm that's, yeah. black. I agree. I, I, uh, I can't remember what films that I watched when I flew overseas because I only I'm did it for one time. But... Overseas. Coming back from there. there. I think on the rewatch, it was not as good as I recall, but I still, like I said, I still think it's a worthy movie. Seven out of ten. There's some. You know, if that if like, that was that guy's first first go at it, you know, congrats to him. That's million dollar budget. I think that's an impressive movie for a two million dollar. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, definitely. I mean, they got really good. They got really good shots. Well, I mean, they I had mean, to pay a million. I think the story, unfortunately, was just lacking. It cost a million to get those abs for that big nose for Bigfoot. Those abs, yeah. you see those abs, brother? Things were yeah, ripped. Yeah, I kind of wanted some. Kind you liked of them. You liked them. Ending. That... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did end, my man. Well, I well. Just did. Was, yeah, I don't know if satisfying is the right word. I don't know if you're getting a satisfying ending out of a movie like that. Ew. But some it's kind of ending. It's a raw plot. It's kind of yeah. just, I think he's telling the story of Colombia. Like, not that I know Colombia. Like, See, and that's the I problem. Like, Let's get Nick on we here. We don't Where know. We, as, as, as Americans, we numbers. just don't know. And it's hard for us to relate to a film like that. Right, and that's fine. Maybe yeah, but, if you had a problem relating it, I just well, well, no, I, I I'd like. To, mm-hmm. uh, I think Ben made this point about Rambo or Wyatt. I'm not sure who made Rambo. Ram, Rambo, you know, uncomfortable in the house because they had never experienced a normal life, basically. Well, also they, yeah, that, that that was that is very much true of these FARC people. You know, they got Fuck recruited yeah. as kids. They went into these mountains and they never yeah. came back down. It's like Al Qaeda. It's like they're in the yeah. jungle, dude. Yeah. I think it was pretty well off too. Like they had a fucking TV with like cable or satellite or something. Yeah, no, yeah, they weren't living so so well, bad. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when uh, Rambo came up, Rambo came upon them. That guy was uh, diving for gold. Yeah, he was, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, though, like, you wouldn't expect me. someone in the jungle to have a satellite TV in their home or something. Well, gold yeah, miners they're gold, di- gold diver, you might. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, it's a very rare. Also, how the fuck do you, you get... see that oh, artwork he had? That guy had good artwork. Right, it's kind of like, oh, this is tradition. Like is I said, funny. there was just a lot of this film that seemed like it was too in place and... And and yet the story, it was bland. It was kind of a bland movie at the end of the day. It was, they had great cinematography. And like I said, I felt like maybe they were forcing it at times, but overall great. Uh, I don't know if you remember the shot when they first took the shrooms. I don't know what they were messing with with their hand, but it looked like some kind of crazy moss on a branch or something. Yeah. That was crazy. Like I thought, I didn't. I kind of couldn't understand even what was happening there. The I couldn't. Was not very that was not an image I had ever seen in my life. <laughs> like that was some National Ge- Geographic shit. But um, black titties. I just, you know, you don't. Like I said, you can't relate to the characters at all. They developed some of them a little more than others. Um, you're they weren't actors. You don't really understand. You don't really understand what's going on the entire time, though. I, do. I don't know if that's on purpose. Like, I think you're yeah. a liar. It's pretty obvious huh? what's going on. So you think it was a drug-related, like, or not even a drug-related, but like a ransom kidnapping situation, obviously, right? Well, that yeah, doesn't, I think it doesn't matter. It just matters that they're out in the wilderness and trying to survive, and this is what happens to. You know, I thought people, it was yeah. In that like, sense, I thought it was a good depiction of kind of like a lawless, the, a lawless society, they, dude. They're just yeah, yeah. I think they all enlisted to live on a three mile high mountaintop and hold a white woman like captive, no, not have a normal life. No, like, but they were, they were all definitely they were being held point. captive themselves by these guerrilla units, and it's about them losing 
right. their innocence. And that's what the first half of the movie is about. It's like, well, we're kids, but we're not. Let's fuck. Yeah, Let's kiss. Imagine. I, I it guess if, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I guess mean, that's again, what the point I don't, was. I'm not going to say it got there. I, I'm just glad you guys watched it. Doesn't it doesn't change my opinion. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, like, but I, I definitely, there. like, I get it. I get it. I got, I got the film. Like, yeah. And yeah, I don't think there was a ton to it either. Like, I just it's it's one of those movies you're not happy to watch, like because it's there not wasn't much happy. Big no, yeah. yeah, exactly. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, it wasn't the most happy movie. There wasn't much redemption. You, I, would, I mean, maybe I would not suggest to someone else like, yeah, definitely watch that. I'd say, yeah, if you want to watch that, watch it. Yeah, I, trust me, I don't go around telling people you gotta watch. It. Like this was the perfect oh, just us. podcast. Just us. This is <laughs> All right, so cool. here's a little sentence hey, I Travis. found about Lord of the Flies. My think, man. Think when you hear it, digest <laughs> it, you will understand Monos a little bit more. Monos! The Monos overarching basically. theme of Lord of the Flies is the, con- ex. the conflict <laughs> between the human impulse towards savagery uh-huh. and the rules of civilization, which are designed to contain and minimize it. Yeah. That, yeah. That's the whole point. There's there, there's nothing more complicated than that. So it was a Lord of the Flies ripoff for Colombian people. That's yeah, all it I was. I don't even think there was much like there wasn't a ton of that. Like I understand there's definitely base. Okay, but well, it was, guess what? My was next one, <laughs> next up is Blood Diamond. You ever seen it? Oh, it's, never it's, seen it. What? I want to see it. it. We're not yeah. watching that garbage. Benny Archa. Benny Struggle. It wasn't about like, yes, there was like the Bigfoot like taking over, but like there wasn't a struggle. It was like the one dude killed himself. And then after that, it was kind of like, hey, I'm taking over and y'all can do whatever you want. But it wasn't like I didn't see a lot of politicking going on. Like they were kind of. Well, sa- well, sav- savagery the is the key word. Definitely. There was some savage shit. Going yeah. on. Well, like, what if they didn't have choices. Within like, the group, like, 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 no, I want to do this. Like, we should do this. It's like they didn't have any choice, pretty much. You know, yeah, I mean, why did they like just like bend the knee to Bigfoot? You know, why did they just listen to Bigfoot? He- well, Bigfoot mattered because he destroyed, like, there was some side, like, we, we need to report this. And then he destroys the radar. And he's like, no, we're not. Fuck that. Because if we do, then we're all fucked. But then at that point, it's like, then everyone's kind of on their own. Like, all right, like, just live and survive, kind of. I mean, that yeah. that was the whole point to me, too, was I kept thinking, why don't they just fucking shoot Bigfoot and all their problems go away? Because he was the, yeah, possibly. But, I mean, maybe they were so tight, like, that they that never even crossed their mind, really. Like, there's yeah. a bond between them. Well, see, and that was the whole thing. Like, there was, they kept going back and forth in the film. Between, oh. we're a tight knit group of Good. kids that oh. have grown up together, and or we're all one man for himself. Fuck you, like Savage. gorilla situation, savage bullshit. Like they kept going back and forth, and I think wow. that originally uh, Bigfoot thought that they were a family, and he was protecting uh, Pato from getting killed, even he did, though. Right? Why wouldn't he do that? That was a smart decision. Like, why turn themselves in? Being like, yeah, we shot the cow. Well, why, why they could have saved people. Wolf. They Put the blame on the Wolf dead guy. at the very yeah. least. Huh? Shot the sheriff. They could have saved Wolf at the very least, or at least uh, protected his legacy by saying, like, why yeah, he, matter, he he took he fell on his sword because he knew this was his squad and something bad happened on his watch. Instead of then Bigfoot wouldn't have become the leader, I don't think. By, by the by the messenger, at least. The it's, messenger. Maybe by, it's maybe by force he would have still taken it. It's interesting how you put that and that sentence I said from Lord of the Flies. It almost seems like I just put together that it could be that when they're the tight-knit family, that's them adhering to the rules of civilization. When they turn on each other that's them succumbing to the human impulse of savagery yeah i just think there would have been way more like the key 
There would have been way more in in fight murdering and and rape if this was a real. <laughs> would have, it would have been a lot more rape. Yes, yeah. yeah, that think... woman would have been raped so many times that I would have. I'm actually to... surprised there wasn't any rape in that film. It was not. That's not factual. Like that's just. I'm and sorry. that and as a person who knows a little bit about the Fark history, that was a problem. Yeah, yeah you would think. Well. I think we've. Yeah, it seemed I, implied I, I, a few times, it. definitely. Well, it was they, one of those like, it was one of those like, uh, well, it's the always sunny quote, like, oh, danger is implied. Case. Yeah, it's the implication of it danger. Was, it was always right around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. The implication is there. So how's how's everybody's life? Everybody doing good? Any, anything crazy happened? To everybody since the last po- podcast? The thing about me is I got my cock pierced, which is cool. Oh, jeez. Prince Albert, huh? Yeah, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, who would do that? See, that would be... <laughs> All right, it's, today's the day. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get my dick pierced fully. <laughs> yeah, stretch, <laughs> and you stretch out your back. Yeah. Uh, like, put why? Put a bolt in my or, dick. What was, that movie, what was that movie from back in the day where that random character had the Prince Albert? Was that Senseless? Dude, I don't know. I, yeah, you're right. There was, was it, was it, what was Things it? Bob? Was it Airheads? Maybe Airheads. Oh, Airheads. You know what? It might, there, I <laughs> do sort of think vaguely remember something about that in Airheads. I, for, I swear Adam Sandler had like a cock piercing, but that, even... that is an underrated movie. I <laughs> typed in Prince Albert piercing into Google and it said, safe search is off. <laughs> Dude, Airheads. No, I've, been, I've been wanting to see watch images. Airheads again. Brendan Fraser, Steve Buscem, and, and Adam Sandler. Yes. Come on. Steve Buscemi, wow. Yeah, dude. He's rocking Wait, out back Michael then. Michael Richards bro. in it? Who? Michael Richards, Airheads? Oh, oh yeah. He was, uh, yeah. He's like Kramer, I'm pretty sure, for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, isn't he creeping through like the air ducts? Or maybe I'm thinking of another movie. No, I think you're right. I think yep, you're right. It is senseless. It is senseless. Oh, it is? Yep. Who was in Senseless? David Spade and Marlon Wayans. Okay, yeah. Was that with the potion? Yeah. God damn, that movie was hot. That yeah, was... it's the guy. Uh, what's his name? Fuck. What's up, dude? Uh, Tell me, dude. Matthew Lillard. Matthew. Oh Lillard, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Fucking He's Billy got a million Brubaker. Piercings. Billy yeah. Brubaker. Can I share this somehow? Uh, uh Shaggy. The picture of him. Not his dick. No. No, no, they don't. Word up, brother. Yeah, share ahead, brother. I don't, I don't know if there's a way to do that. You go into the chat right there, my man. Are you guys excited the about the Pop Tart Seinfeld movie? What? What is this? You guys don't know about that? Pop Tart? Seinfeld is coming out with some. I think they already finished it. It's coming out relatively soon, I think. It's about Pop Tarts. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld, you mean? Jerry like, Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Pop Tart movie. What's that fucking mean? The fuck is that? I don't know. What is that? What are you? What, is that Monos? Who's that, doing this? Is that a what mountain that, in Monos? Can you see it? Can you yeah. see it? Let's see it. Yeah, this is the this is the Prince Albert. Oh no! I see a cliff side with water. Yeah, I see cliffs. I don't oh, know what. Damn it. Yeah, that might be your background. Is this your first time sharing? <laughs> yeah. How do you make it? How you got to hit happen? the. You got to hit the screen. That, you got to hit the screen option, not the window option. What the fuck? How do I know? You got to set the screen. Work? Unshare, okay. and you share again, and you make sure you select screen, not window. Listen, Travis is going to coach you. I've been doing this a while. No, no just another nothing. cliff. <laughs> Why are you showing I us? do I do like that back that wallpaper. Yeah, that's like a that. nice wallpaper. That's fucking 45 hot. degree shale very, rough situation. Monos. Show us yeah. your Prince Albert, Ben. Uh, I quit. I don't know how to do that. Bah. Well, you know, as for me, life's been okay and um just trying to keep doing my thing and uh and go ahead, Ben. <laughs> no, no, I just did that. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that's, 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 make that go away. You're so like what, asking us about our lives because you want to tell us something about your life. And now you're raising your Oh, no, no. Literally nothing <clears throat> Nothing has happened. In my yeah. life. Well, you're uh, next to pick a movie, I, I right? I shared a nice video uh, with uh, Wyatt 
of uh, some black woman almost oh. sideswiping me on Route 29. But other than that, just been the oh. same old bullshit. Why she have to be black, dude? That's messed up, man. Well, I mean, she factually was black. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. And like super black, like African black. Like Oh, come oh, on. That's going down. Yeah. Oh, what are man, you doing? This Pop Tart gonna... movie has a bunch of actors I'm not crazy about. <clears throat> I don't understand. Is, Pop -Tart Pop -Tart movie is it like the B movie with Pop Tarts? Yeah, what the fuck is the Pop Tarts? It's movie? it's 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 I don't it's, like Pop Tarts. It's called Pop Unfrosted the Pop Tart Story. A movie about the creation of the popular breakfast treat. Is it a? Why do we get? I think it's coming out. Get, I think it's coming out on Netflix. Is it a? Why do we get that? What like, do we deserve, do to deserve that? I don't to, know, but I hope it does well because I want Seinfeld to keep making stuff. Me too, but not Seinfeld's that. Seinfeld's on all day on television. I love it. How old is Jerry Seinfeld? He's 63, Eric. Right? He's, he's in the 60s. He's getting up he's there. He's 63. 68. Oh, my God. 68? Yeah. He's not, his, he's not ever coming out with new content that no, we're going to be like, like laughing yeah. at. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So you might as well just keep enjoying the old stuff. Dude, when Jerry Seinfeld passes, if we're all still at him, that will be. That will be a rough day. That will be if, he sure. if he passes yeah. and we're all dead. What happened? To us? <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? That would be horrible, <laughs> dude. Yeah, but no, I thought is, that. Is that the celebrity death that will hit us the hardest? Who, who Absolutely. would be? That yeah. would be yours. I mean, Michael I think Jordan. David will go before Michael him. Jordan or him or not that Michael yeah. Jordan. Are. I think Michael Even Jordan Michael will probably Jordan. be the worst. Because uh, Michael Jordan will be bad. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Woods will be bad. Tiger. Ooh. What about uh, like for me, like? I don't know, like Tim Cal Allen, Ripken, Tom Hanks. Cal Ripken will hurt. Oh, shut up. All right, let's get out of sports. We're talking movies, people. Oh, movies. what's next? You've been talking about Does anyone else have any good ideas? Oh, like, my God. I don't want to have I don't want to have to make me be the person that picks, but I have some thoughts. Well, you already wanted no, to watch ben, the you, menu. You've been gifted the, tr the, the gift of the next movie. You better. All right, well. These are the the four movies that like came to my mind that I. I and we're gonna I've be seen, judging the shit out. I can't fucking wait okay. to judge the yeah. shit out of this next. Well, no, like whatever you do. Choose something so, dumb. Well, would you rather be? Would you rather do random movies or like I have I these two that I found that were um, quote unquote comedy families from the like nineties that I <clears throat> remember watching comedy when I was a kid. Comedy families or family comedies? Family, family comedies, fuck. yeah. Carl yeah, Winslow. well, just rip them off. What are the four? The By the four? Way, that's my favorite. Obviously, I, I'm going to stick Carl with Winslow. the ones I've suggested already, which were Kiss Kiss, Bang Bang, yep. Death to Smoochie. Yep. Uh, I'm also going to throw out Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Okay. Because I think that's not the best of the Desperado El Mariachi films, but it's a good film. It's a fun, a fun film. And I've never watched Joker. Joker? What? I've never watched Joker. The one with uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Saw in theater. I never have either. Never saw yeah, it. So that's that's one I think I've I've been like meaning to watch. That is, you know, I guess I was supposed to be good, but I don't think it's like anybody bent over backwards for it and said it was I, like the best I, film ever. I, like best I, really, I really liked it. I I thought it was good. It definitely had a ton of buzz, but I didn't see it either. Yeah, yeah so I, 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 w I wouldn't mind doing that one. I think it's still on HBO Max. Um, but if we wanted to like really go down memory lane, uh, these two popped up when I was kind of like perusing random films. Mm -hmm. Captain Ron, which has Kurt Russell, and mm -hmm. Martin Short. I've heard of that. Like Martin Short. Uh, and then oh. House Arrest, which I don't know if you guys remember that one, but that's where like the kids uh, lock all their parents in the basement. Definitely remember that one. Yeah. I don't know if those would be easy to watch though. Desi would love that if we did that. He's, He's out. out. Well, well, I was gonna say, can we? Should we move to 
Should we try to move to nine? No, to no, 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 he always yeah, said, no, we're not I'm, moving shit so he can fake on a different day. Fuck yeah, it. Nine That's, would work for me I on love, a Friday or a Saturday. About, but... not, everyone loves Desi. We want Desi here. It's not fair. It's unfair. What is he doing with his life? And he's working. That's great. You're working until nine? <laughs> I don't know why. Get a different job. Yeah. He's working. Hey, he's he working agreed to this, right? So... Yeah, well, I think now he's at least not working Saturdays, maybe. But um, that's way better. Okay, no, I love Desi. I, I love Desi. I want Desi here, of course. But it's like I can't. I don't know what he wants us to do, man. Out of those movies, I would rank them <laughs> in my interest. I Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I've never seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I'd like to see it. I think the menu is I not mean, on the list anymore, Ben. Well, I've already watched it. Oh well, I mean. Usually is the case. Every movie that we've done so far, somebody has pretty much seen already. Mm. Too new, right? Right, too new. Okay. No, I, 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 I don't like it, huh? I think, I think. Oh no, I really enjoyed it actually, but I don't want to do it for the podcast. Anymore. I think new can be all right. I, I don't have a problem with that. Why not? Why not? Sure. sure. It came out seven months ago. Sure. The menu. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, it came out in June or something. Yeah. 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 What? Totally, totally got snubbed on Oscars. How about that? Zero. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah. by that. Fuck. Who did? Yeah. In Top Gun, Top Gun Maverick was. No, don't get me wrong. I saw it. It was okay. It wasn't the great. It's not a best I still picture not type of that. film. I need to watch that immediately. Ah, I love I Top think, Gun Maverick. If I don't, if I don't, don't think that. I would have thought Nope could have snuck in there. Yeah, yeah it could have should have got a nod. All right, well, the only way to watch Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, I think, is on nope, Showtime. Nope, it's an original movie. Travis, you're the, only, you're the only person that has Showtime. I do not have Showtime. I don't have Showtime. I I think I do. But nobody has Showtime. I do. I just All right, so what's oh, wait, can this? We, what about uh, Jason? Do, doesn't he have Showtime? Is that on Hulu? If he has Showtime, it would be accessible, potentially. No, you have to... No, you have to buy. He doesn't it. have. He doesn't have regular cable, right? I don't know. He I does, like. He was you can definitely time. get Showtime through Hulu. I hey. when when I was trying to watch Dexter, the news, the new season of Dexter, I accidentally logged into Jason's one of Jason's account, and they like sent a message saying you owe four hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder and, he got banned. Well, no, this was a separate thing. It wasn't. It wasn't Hulu. It was like the cable company or something. I forget exactly what it was, but Jason, that makes yeah. so much sense. Not surprised. Jason, all right, so, guys, let's so just cute. all watch the cable guy, and we'll talk oh, about it. One guy. of the best movies ever made. I mean, I'm not watching that. Oh God, you're kicked out. Kick him out the group. Kick him no, out. We can't. We can't come in and swoop away, Ben. We're not watching the cable man. guy. Oh, it's just bang, bang. That, be fucking that, good if you're not watching the cable guy, you snob. Well, yeah, no, can we? I, even, I don't even know if we can. Like, we have to. Have, we have to have Showtime to be able to watch. What about it. Death to Smoochie? I would still watch that too. I know, it was your pick. I'm just I saying. don't know, it's too soon. Robin Williams just passed away not that long ago. It's too soon, man. I think it's actually time to talk <laughs> about Kiss Kiss Bang his... Bang is $4 on YouTube, and then I think, like I said, I think it's on Showtime. I'm not Kiss Kiss paying shit. Ooh, it's not on Showtime anymore. Great. So basically, we would have to rent that. So okay, keep that in mind. We'll oh god banner. damn it, Ben. That the smoochie is somewhere free though, right? YouTube or something. It was free on YouTube before, but let me see, let me see that. Ben, this is your movie. Still free, kicks. still free on YouTube. Still free on YouTube. God damn it. Did we click that? Did somebody click on it? And make sure. I'm not <laughs> I'm, Did we click I'm, that? I'm, I'm we... clicking on it. Free with that. Yeah, okay. Me too. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but make sure you fast forward a little into it. I, I'm making, I'm going all the way good, into the movie. Good, Travis. Good. We gotta be diligent here. <laughs> oh, this is good. What no, I think I, I, I think we should roll with Death to Smoochie. What better yeah, time than to yeah. talk about one of Rob Williams' more underappreciated movies? And I'm willing to do that. To be honest with you, though, I did watch The Town. Seems like this is a full The Town thing. is ripping. I love oh, The Town. Oh my God. The Town is great. The Town. Is the town? Great. 
That's just, you don't need to. We don't need to tell people that's great. Everybody Overrated, knows. underrated, perfectly rated. Tell me. Perfectly rated. It's a perfect movie. Nah. I give it an eighty-two. Retinas, Your mother was a whore effect. strung up by the telephone yeah. wires. Yeah, she. Yeah, yeah exactly. Ryan Reynolds, horror of a horror of a wire. Look at her. Blakely uh, Lively. Yeah, Something I know, like Ben. That. Name the characters. I got John Hamm here. Jeremy Renner just got crushed by a snowplow. That's topical. Snowplow and... Snowplow Renner. Trying to save his nephew. He's not from Boston if he got crushed by a snowplow. Stupid pussy bitch. Um, You're from Boston, you get crushed by a gazebo. One question. Have you ever seen Argo? I have not. <laughs> is that the one... Is that the Affleck one where you... It's the... Iran situation, Palestinian or some shit. Yeah, I Iran. One of them. Yeah. yeah, is that good? Iran Contra. Um, to be good? honest with you, Travis, when I saw that movie, it blew my mind the first time I laid eyes on it. <laughs> That's a That's we're talking they, like, hell. Sneak them out the hell hell out of water. I'm it's not gonna lie to you. And what did I say about Nope? Was I wrong? It was pretty good. Nope. Uh, nope was good. I like Nope. Argo's a movie I've wanted to watch for a while, but never pulled the trigger. And now you're looking at me as some sort of uh, some sort of Nostradamus, huh? You'll be hearing from me if I don't like it. <laughs> Wait, which movie? <laughs> I don't go. Came out in 2012, mind you. It's fun. A decade ago, still holds up. Ben Affleck puts it a tour de force. Let's see where it's streaming at. Uh... Guess what? Guess what? Ben Affleck directed it. Of course he did. Kids Guess got what? talent. Guess what? Underrated Ben Affleck. Guy's gone. Uh, it's not streaming. Oh, wait. Might be on Netflix. Okay. Talk to me. Guess what, guys? Guess what? Just started watching The Old Man. Loving episode one. Great. Oh, yeah. God. Old man. He, his old. urine, his his pissing <laughs> is like mine. One in the morning. Three in the morning. Five in the morning. <laughs> I'm in there. I'm pissing, boys. Dude, let's talk about that next week instead of fucking death to smoochie. <laughs> oh, that's what I wanted to bring up. Shit. I'm I gotta so watch great. more. Old Man is a great show. Uh, yeah. so, so, I came across this show on uh, YouTube today that it took me like an hour or two to figure out what the actual show was because you can't say it on when you post it on YouTube. What? Copyright infringement and shit. Cappy. Uh, I do kids uh, cappy. So I cappy. Cra- so like, uh, it's a newish Chinese drama television show that's like crouching tigerish, but like adds in like a magical element. It's like if the Chinese. Did Game of Thrones essentially? The Chinese took oh, with over. no nudity and no sex. A KFC. Oh, I'll pass. <laughs> That's a hard pass. It's, for called, <laughs> it's called Sword Snow Stride, and like the 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 badass character in it is a one armed like sword god. So, yeah, I mean, what you've watched a bunch of it and you like it? Well, I keep watching these like ten to twenty something minute clips of it, and I'm like, damn, I want to watch this whole thing. But you haven't watched it at all. Not like a full episode, no. Is there a way to watch it? Uh, Vicky. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I think I Desi's wasn't Desi about Vicky or something. I guess Racket and <laughs> Vicky. China. So. Well, I recommend Severance. Yeah, I've heard that. Wyatt, I think that'd be right up your alley. Wow, season one really? of the show is 38 episodes. Didn't no, 40 episodes. See, so, yeah, that's, that's too what many. That's too many. What happened to that? It's just eight episodes. It used to be 28 or something. What? What? Which one? Like, see, shows. Like, Entourage even had, like, a 20-episode season. Like, they give you oh, six yeah. to ten now. You're, luck- you're lucky if you get 12. Oh, oh, I dude, prefer well. it. I prefer it. Have you ever watched one of these 30 episode seasons? You know what they no, do? No, they're terrible. They're terrible. Yeah, What's you, know what they, you, know, you know what they do? <laughs> they <laughs> say, <laughs> all right, we've Stretch. got the, we've got the yeah, exactly. We've got the bad Stretch. guy. He's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, down on his knees at gunpoint. He can't get away now. They, yeah, they, oh, they, he got away. That's three episodes. <laughs> <laughs> they can't all be entourage. Every show's packed. 
You're on the edge of your seat. You well, don't know what's going to happen. Well, next. that's a comedy. That's different. Comedy, you can do a million Brad, episodes. Man, come on. You can run out of material, Travis. Come on. Nah, but, uh, yeah, I know. You're right. When you when you got all that Rolodex of characters, you don't run out of I started watching this show, uh, Designated Survivor. Have oh. any of you heard of that? <laughs> yeah. That's the Kiefer, that. right? Kiefer Sutherland. He becomes Thank president. You. Dude, it, it actually, anything, yeah, anything actually, it's pretty watchable, people. but like Jesus. they just, there's so much of that just stretching Absolutely. out the drama that it's unwatchable. Officer Bob Brady, gotta make terrorist. it to the next commercial. Officer Bob Brady, there's a terrorist in your school. Officer Bob Brady. When Crane, when, when when Cartman does Kiefer Sutherland a 24 <laughs> episode, it's one of the greatest. <laughs> He kidnaps a Middle Eastern family and injects them. And no, 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 injects himself with apple juice so he can fart in their face. <laughs> as, as in, <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, he's literally just being racist about some well, Middle this? Eastern kid at school. And he calls out. He killed off that character pretty quick on Seinfeld. Stop. 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 I mean, on uh, South Park, Bob Brady. Bob yeah. Brady. Oh, jeez. Oh dear! He didn't, um, he didn't last more than like five or six seasons. No, he's still there. No, he isn't. Yeah. You're also doing a pretty. All right. So what are we watching? Are we watching the Chinese kung fu movie, or are we watching uh, Death, Death to Smoochie? Smoochie? Are we watching Death oh, to Smoochie? Hey, I guess we're hey. doing Death to Smoochie. Usually when you shit on someone's impression, you should probably do a better one, or you should shut your fucking mouth. Yeah. Afraid. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Hey, I'd like to talk about... Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Man. Very good, man. Very good. The old man. The problem with, talking, problem about. with talking about <laughs> old man is why it hasn't seen it. I well, seen I one episode. <laughs> He's his daughter is really she does he's got to leave because his daughter's gonna be only, in, in harm's way. Yes, there's only six episodes of the old man. Yeah, I know, but well, when you get those, come two on, you, you know there's nothing to talk about until Wyatt finishes. Well, yeah, when you I get, those, that, I mean, she knows that there's money in the banana stand. That's the question. There's always well, money in the banana the thing stand. About it is that. The amount of times those guys have to pee, like they could only do six episodes, to be honest with you. They're both kind of on the way out, and they're great. Yeah, they're I feel so great. bad for Jeff Bridges being what that old. Like, God, Jesus fucking Christ, I'm old as shit. Jeff Bridges' COVID commercials, the fucking makes me want to kill myself. Oh, what wow. Is, I never saw that. That's sad. That's sad. It's the fucking most bullshit commercial I've ever seen. How does a cowboy care about COVID? What a pussy. What he's happened? not a cowboy. He's a Hollywood actor. What do you he shut your fucking mouth. He's a goddamn he's cowboy. He's the most you garbage seen. you'll ever see. He's a national treasure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, he's man, on, the, fucking, tell you, man, he's on like, the Mount Everest. Uh, what is it? Mount Rushmore. Mount Everest. He's on Mount Everest. How about that big Lebowski beer you had, Ben? Let's let's hear about that. <laughs> I had a, I had two more of them today. Was that the Folgers beer? <laughs> the yeah. Donnie? They, def- they definitely the sold you pack? on Big Lebowski, nostalgia, and design oh, rather than well, quality of product. <laughs> My brain has never been more confused. <laughs> well, how can Unfortunately, you know they, got me with, they got me with that and the fact that I do like a brown ale. Like, I'm, I'm a big porter, brown ale, stout well, person. Yeah, he is. You do like that. I and so uh, when Milk I saw stout. that it was a brown ale and it had Lebowski shit, I was like, oh. Oh, dude. Got my money. You're out of your oh, fucking element. Sale. Yep. yep. Bring it sale. up. Bing. Where do you find a beverage of that magnitude? I found that at the Chantilly Wegmans. Dude, Wegmans has it. Yeah. Fucking How many views do we have on these podcasts? <laughs> How many years? <laughs> Seven. Views? <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> Smack was, it out there. Any, any more than like the five people we might know that could have watched it. Yeah, sure. First first episode came out steaming. Thomas yeah. Crown? Thomas Crown got us <laughs> oh my god. Got us got us a uh a, a yeah, not to look down on. Uh <laughs> he's taking a while. Se- I'm trying to get I'm going to my channel. Hold you on. Had any stats right now? No, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the correct stats. I'm not Seven. gonna bullshit Six, around. Thirteen. Our, our first movie just keeps getting views. It's up to nineteen views now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
crown affair, baby. That's but all. Right. <laughs> then we take a nosedive down to six. Well, Pierce Brosnan movie, huh? Six, what? five, and five views on the next three. Oh, man. They didn't like what they saw. Then. Oh, it's because uh, of the black movie I picked. That's my bad. We'll no, if you, if you go into the YouTube deep dive analytics, too, there's the, the average <laughs> watch time is pretty pretty small. Some red wine. They, usually, <laughs> they usually don't make it past about 20 minutes. Oh, uh, that's not yeah. bad. 20 <laughs> minutes. Well, yeah. See, that's. We gotta. That's why I'm saying we should start with some original content. That like, Desi's like a Desi story is what we need to start with every uh, fucking episode. Maybe. I, that yeah, would, so I was banging. You might be stripper. right, but that kind of uh, would turn me off. Her, if, she, she pulled her put panties to the side in yeah. the cave, and we banged, that's and right. then my dick was itching all day. That's hot. Like, that's, that's hot. That's what are you what saying? Is. I'm into this. What are you, you saying? Yeah, beaches of Sicily. Got, you haven't heard this Desi's story? Wait, 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 wait. Have you? Wait, what? What? Oh, that's Desi? cave on a beach in yeah. Sicily. Yeah, yeah his stories are just, yeah, yeah, it was on acid, and it was, was hot. It was passionate. And he comes home, and he's got. Yeah, now he's dating a 39-year-old Chinese you, you woman. You turned it off, right? We're done. Oh no, no, we're recording. <laughs> um, what can you do? This is a part of being an entertainer. You got It's kind of like being an athlete. You take hey, the shots and they. You, you said miss you them. wanted to deliver some original content. That's what we're delivering here. I think I could. I just have to tell stories about dumb fucking people and weird experiences. You could. I sure. think I could hold a stage, but I just don't know what people would be interested in. You know. Like, I got in a car crash with a homeless guy. Uh, he was a neighbor of mine. He wasn't homeless at the time, but former homeless. Uh, and, I, you know, I, I we got in a car crash, and uh, I looked over, and he I thought he was dead. I was almost sure he was dead, and uh, he wasn't. I said, Gus, my man! And he came to life, and then we uh, proceeded to uh, the hospital. My brother picked me up and forced me to give him a Vicodin. So, I didn't okay. play with this. Fuck. Oh. Huh? Homeless guy? No wonder people aren't going past the 20 minute mark. When we <laughs> yeah, the, no, the homeless guy didn't ask for a Viking. The homeless neighbor. So, how are you? So, are you homeless if he's your homeless neighbor? But he also has a <laughs> no, he, he was just staying with a guy. He was Where did you meet him? At the shelter? No, because my they already knew him when I moved in. I guess they'd already known him. And okay. he was like a known, like he knew everyone because he used to be I homeless. Know. He was just like crashing with a guy. Uh, who known that he was known. Of, known vagabond. Yeah, he, and the guy he was crashing with a known prostitute, Philandrether. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was a. That's Jacksonville, Florida, Ben. That's Jacksonville, baby. You ever seen his? Oh, Duval. that's Duval. The best buy wouldn't <laughs> you hire. Pre so I wrote you out. Were pre Duval. Yeah, I don't know what Duval, the fuck yeah. means to be honest with you. Like the area around the stadium. That sucks. Yeah, they had a cool ass actually. Like a, it was called the Jacksonville Landing, and it was like it, just like a bunch of bars on the water. Like a, you could take like a ferry across to the stadium, and it was a. But it was on the other side of the water. Yeah, and they're just people that couldn't get over to the stadium and just getting wasted at like a Hooters. It was wild, brother man. I'll tell I'm you. I'm not gonna like, lie. I have for some reason been craving some Hooters wings. Like yeah, Hooters, there's like nothing. Breaded? There's nothing like a hoot. Like nobody just serves another wing that's like a Hooters wing. Ben, do you get the breaded or original? I'm what's so? What's the, the fuck is the difference? Unique. What do you mean? I what thought the, the breaded was the original. Is it breaded yeah. or original? Is it original rays or rays original? No, it Jesus. Is one has no, Hooters only has one kind. They're breaded. No, yeah, that's, that's what regular. I thought. No, they have regular. This is they're a, regular. That's not right. No, ready. the regular okay, is that's bread. That's why I asked because you can get regular or you get yeah, breaded. No. They're traditional. The breaded you one can is get grilled. Deep fried breaded wing. Yeah, grilled or like dipped deep. in dipped in buffalo sauce is what you eat at Hooters. Yeah. I don't like buffalo sauce. I rather get some Stupid. sweet meat. Curly sweet fries. Meat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm stupid. The most complete out flavor food. in the history. You'll eat of what life. I Why don't you pair it with some ranch? As well? obviously, I like ranch, but ranch and buffalo flavor. I mean, come on, man. I need some. I like some sweet. I like something this different. Uh, hmm. This Christmas had ranch for the first time in her life. Who? My sister-in-law, my brother's husband, my brother's oh, wife. God. What has she been doing? She had ranch for the first time, and she's a vegetarian. She had carrots and ranch. She goes, "This is good." 
<laughs> like, where the fuck have you been? <laughs> you're a vegetarian, dude. That's who's you raising get. your brother's children, you huh? A ranch? Is ranch? Ve- is ranch? Oh, she's vegetarian. Yeah. You, so you know, you know, like she eats salad all the time. So it's like, I just ranch never is, thought ranch would be good. Ranch has but, dairy in it, I believe. Well, oh, she's vegetarian, I, though. I don't know. Where are you? Where are you playing in Palm Springs? You guys playing PJ West? Hey, I don't know, but I'll I'll let you know as soon as I do. We got room for one more. We I got mean, I probably man. won't be able talk to about this. Let's talk about this. <laughs> got an eight man golf trip in Palm Springs next month. Oh my god, dude, that's what wild. Fuck? I'm telling you, man, I did it, and that place is heaven on earth, Palm Springs. I haven't been there. Two hundred bucks for three nights. That's just for the stay. Yeah, the flights. I looked at the flight today. It's like four hundred bucks, which is not crazy. It's not too bad. We might get some comp rounds out. That's what we're, that's what we're hoping. Because, uh, like, a lot of the people that are going are guys I used to work with at the golf course. And, I mean, I'm sure you know Travis work. And, like, if you know the pros, they get hooked up sometimes. So we're yeah, trying to at least a that. cart fee or something, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Not trying to pay the full price, obviously. Trying to get four rounds in. And the 18th birthday, 36 on the Monday. 30, 30, oh, I'm out. I well, can't. Monday, President's Six. Day. I'm, dude, I haven't played 36. I don't know the last time I played 36. I, I'm broken after 18. I can't do 36. I mean, I agree. I'm pretty sure I have a torn MCL, so I don't know if Tor- I can even... You, did that. you wrench it? What did huh? you do? <clears throat> you I it? honestly don't know what I did to injure it, but it's gotten progressively worse in the last month. Jeez. Too much torque in that drive of yours. Yeah, I've seen him. He's torque. Well, I definitely think it. that... Playing, I think <clears throat> not playing golf for like a month or two and then playing three rounds in one week was a bad idea it when it was randomly shit. warm. Leg. What? Is it your left leg? No. Is it your right leg? <laughs> no. Like your third leg. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's my oh, right man. leg. And, oh, that's, yeah, where you're putting definitely, your, that's where you put on your swing too. Definitely, I could tell today when I kind of like faked a golf swing, like, oh shit, I can tell when I plant and like push off. Like, that does not feel right. Golf is the one thing. If you got any body injury in golf, you're kind of fucked, dude. Like, you, golf yeah, is your yeah. entire body, pretty much. Yeah, you can't. <clears throat> you start making <clears throat> compensations. Yeah. Yeah. I probably I mean, got to one I thing. Probably got to not not do anything like super strenuous for a month or two to, to be able to play again. Uh, when I came out for the draft, like I didn't stretch and then like, I just started hitting golf balls cause it got there a little late and I like tweaked my back or like something in my shoulder. I was like, I'm fucked for today. Like I ended up playing okay, but I was just like, fuck man. Like, yeah, this is going to bother you know, me. Swing now. You, don't really think you know what I swear by though is KT tape. I never use that. That's uh, like athletic tape shit. KT Thompson. Where do you, like, where yeah. do you put it? On your back and stuff? Wherever it hurts. Uh, I mean, I've used it really only on my, I guess, my calf before. I've seen it. They use it everywhere, right? I've seen fucking. I, I mean, usually they have like a line all the way down their arms and then like, yeah, do, all the way down do their legs. Arms, shoulders, legs, knees, calves, so, anywhere, uh, any muscle, muscle or uh, joint area. Yeah, I wonder if I could put like two lines down my back. I need it on my toe. I got a bad. It depends toe. where. What, where yeah. what area? What are the top three places you want to make a golf trip to that you've been talking about? And where are they exactly? Well, Myrtle should Beach, we, because we, we have. Should, should we yeah, close we want, this out? Before yeah, you want to take us off, Eric? Well, that's, that's it. That's it for Monos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for, hey, uh, you had a good time watch, watching Monos and talking about don't it. Don't watch it. You know? You've got seven days to watch Death to Smoochie. Have fun. Yeah. Wait, that's the pick? The Wait, what? Where was yeah. I? Death to Smoochie. Well, 